Well, traumatic brain injuries or concussions are very common among athletes, especially ones who play contact sports mm -hmm. like football, hockey, soccer. Well, in 2022, over 2 million children suffered from a TBI, a traumatic brain injury. That's according to the CDC. Well, now concussion specialists are on a mission to develop new ways to prevent and treat concussions in our kids. From falls on the playground to collisions during sports activities, head injuries are on the rise, sparking calls for action. We understand that there is a risk associated with these sports, but we see the benefit much clearer. And so I think there's sort of a, a balancing of people looking at, do they want to have their kids engaged in these sports? Many sports organizations and schools are now implementing concussion protocols to better protect their athletes. However, the responsibility ultimately falls on parents to advocate for their children's safety and make informed decisions about their participation in contact sports. There have been new technologies for um, as, uh, reducing concussions as an example. So there have been great improvements in the helmets that are used across sports, that the technology that we're using is improving that. As concussions continue to impact children across the country, it's imperative for parents, educators, and policymakers to work together to prioritize the safety and well-being of our youngest generation. Yeah, I heard Dr. Pierre out there talk about the advancements in technology. Well, she says, look, even with that advancement, there will never be a concussion-proof helmet for sports. Mm.